Now we discuss about average speed and average velocity. Average velocity. Why this title put like the average speed? Already we discussed about the speed. Why should I tell you about average speed? Because if you are in the if you are riding a bike, each each and every five seconds or ten seconds, if you see or watch your speed in the speedometer, you observe that sometimes your 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 bike is moving with the speed of twenty kmph, sometimes thirty kmph, sometimes sixty kmph, again sometimes five kmph. So each and every five seconds of time, the speed is changing. If somebody of your friend ask you that what is the speed of the bike, then the moment you see the speedometer, the speedometer shows 60 kmph, and if you say that my speed, my speed, uh, my bike speed is 60 kmph, you are wrong, because that speed is the speed of the bike at that particular moment, and that speed is called instantaneous speed. But actual speed of the bike, if you want to tell, you have to consider all the speeds into consideration so then that speed become average speed so in physics average speed defined as total distance by total time like see here it's a car moving from point a go to point B and reach to point C. A to B the distance is S1, B to C distance is S2. A to B the total time taken is T1, B to C the total time taken is T2. Then average speed equal to S1 plus S2 because total distance by T1 plus T2 because total time T1 plus T2 and units are same. That is average speed. Take an example. So, but this is same car, same car travel a distance of 30 km kilometers in 5 seconds, 40 kilometers in 6 seconds. Then what is average speed of the car? As you know this average speed is total distance by total time. Take the total distance 30 km plus 40 km by total time 5 seconds plus 6 seconds. So it is 70 kilometers by 11 seconds. So you can say 70 by 11 kilometers per second. If you want to show the answer in meters per second, just write 70,000 by 11 meters per second. No, second example. The same car from point A to point B, B to C. Now see the twist in this numerical. The car from A to B, it is having a speed of 40 kmph. Kmph means kilometer per hour. From B to C, the speed is 30 kmph. From A to B, the time taken T1 equal to 5 seconds. From B to C, the time taken T2 equal to 3 seconds. Then what is average speed? Average speed. Now see. The same car move from point A to B, B to C. From A to B, it has traveled 40 meters in 2 seconds. Repeat, from A to B, the car has speed 40 meters per second in 2 seconds. From B to C, it has 60 meters per second and the time taken is 3 seconds. Now the question is, what is average speed of the car? Now average speed means, you know the formula total distance by total time. Total distance by total time means AB distance plus BC distance. But here AB distance is not given. Then you shouldn't say that I can't do this numerical. You are given velocity or you can say speed and time. And you know that distance 
you know that distance equal to speed into time because speed is distance by time so distance equals speed into time so if you want to know a b distance then write then multiply speed with time so 40 into 2 so same formula using here plus i want to know the distance of bc again speed into time 60 into 3 divided by total time total time is 2 plus 3 now how much this is 80 180 by 5 so how much this is this is 260 by 5 meters per second and this is what average speed so whenever distances are given you can directly total distance by total time you can take when the speeds are given you have to convert the distance in terms of speed into time formula and you have to substitute now we discuss about average velocity average velocity equals to displacement by total time now you will get some different meaning displacement I didn't say total displacement because displacement you have only one there is no half displacement there is no total displacement because displacement is shortest distance between starting point to the end point so it is displacement by total time let us understand with a numerical now see the example three now the per a person from a to b has traveled a distance of three kilometers and from b to c towards north he traveled a distance of four kilometers right then i ask question that what is okay i have to tell the timings also from a to b then time taken t1 equals to five seconds from b to c the time taken t2 equals to six seconds now ask the question that what is average speed of the person so average speed is nothing but you know the answer total distance by total time so total distance is 3 km plus 4 km by total time is 5 seconds plus 6 seconds so it's nothing but 7 km by 11 seconds so 7 by 11 kilometers per second average speed now coming to the turning path average velocity so average velocity of the person means i couldn't say that total displacement displacement you have already discussed displacement is nothing but starting point ending point started shortest distance and it is ac so here i have to do displacement by total time and already this numerical we have discussed in the previous topic displacement ac if you go through the previous numerical you understand that this is 5 kilometers according to pythagoras theorem right so displacement is 5 kilometers by total time so t1 plus t2 again 5 seconds plus 6 seconds so this is 5 km by 11 seconds so 5 by 11 kilometers per second so this is how you have to apply the knowledge of velocity speed in the numericals.